Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about how to install the OK library and then also how to set up a Visual Studio Code. Okay, uh, we'll talk about how to create a virtual environment with Anaconda, install the library, and then how to set up a Visual Studio Code. Uh, so, Anaconda is a powerful package manager uh, and environment manager. It has Python as well as a lot of uh, very uh, useful libraries like NumPy, uh, SciPy, and other library for like machine learning and data science and uh, so when you use Conda to create a virtual environment just for writing games um, it's always a best practice to always create a virtual environment for uh, different things that you might want to do with Python and then we're going to pip install the library in this environment and then use this li uh, environment in Visual Studio Code to uh, to write games okay so Macs and, and Windows are different so let's go through each of them so for uh, Windows, it's very easy. You open up the Anaconda prompt once you have Anaconda installed. Um, and so in this Anaconda prompt, you can create a new Conda environment by by typing this um, this command right here. Uh, by the way, I have uh, this slide posted so you can just copy and paste these commands uh, if you haven't done this before. Uh, but it's important that you also create. You have to say Python is uh, equal to 3.8. This will specify the uh, the interpreter for for the environment and you need to do this uh, so that Visual Studio Code can recognize this environment. And so you're going to activate the environment by saying conda activate arcade and then pip install arcade. So that that's very simple. This is, should be a pretty uh, easy process. Uh, and then for the, the Mac, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, one, the easiest way to do this is to do kind of a slightly older version of 2.3.2. Uh, the latest version is 2.3.5. Um, but the the 2.3.2 is actually not that old. It's only a really few weeks old. Uh, there's a recent bug that that came out. Uh, I actually brought up the bug to the the creator and he fixed it. But unfortunately, when you fix it, it introduced another some installation problem for the Max. Unfortunately. Um, so, but anyway, uh, all the games we we write works with version 2.3.2, uh, and so so this is the easiest installation for the Mac. So you, again, same thing. You create a kind of environment. Uh, you, uh, but by the way, this is on the the terminal. You go to the terminal and then you you, you do this, and then you activate it. Then you pip install. But now you're pip installing an older version. So you have to say W quality 2.3.2. That way you specify what version you want to install. Uh, and this is the version I use to write all my games anyway. So that this will work. Um, so you want an easy, no hassle installation. Uh, that would do it. If you want the latest version, uh, which you might, because you know, like I said, uh, Arcade is always going through changes. There's a lot of contributors. It's always been updated. Uh, so if you want the latest install, then then uh, it's slightly more complicated, but not too bad. So you have to have a Homebrew, which is a package manager for Mac install. The, uh, that would be one of the requirement for um, one of the the latest stages. So the first part is the same thing: create a kind of environment, activate it, install Arcade. And then this is our thing where you have to uninstall this library and then reinstall it with brew. Um, turns out that Arcade is actually not the only problem that this happens for the Mac. Other windowing toolkit I think also have the same problem. So I found this uh, these instructions on a GitHub issue for another library. So this is um, not just for Arcade but for other libraries as well. So you do that and then finally after you install uh, that library again with brew you um, uh, you have to set up some environment variables in your dot bash profile so again in the terminal uh, you just open the uh, the bash profile so again I can you can just copy and paste these commands um, and then this will open uh, up the bash profile with text edit and then you just manually insert uh, these uh, environment variables so for example here, uh, if you do uh, that last command, it will open up uh, the .bash profile. Uh, this is the, the this profile basically where you set up all your environment variables and maybe shortcuts and aliases and things like that. It's very useful, but um, the important thing is you just gotta copy and paste those two lines um, from the uh, from the slides here. Okay, so that's it. That's basically how you install it for the Mac. Okay, uh, and again, if there's updates to this, right, if uh, later, if uh, they manage to fix out that bug, then uh, I can update this direction. But as of right now, uh, for the Mac, unfortunately, then that's what you have to do. Okay, so once you have that uh, done, then you can create a new empty folder, say on desktop or something, and we're going to open up Visual Studio Code. 
we'll open that folder and then we'll create a, a python file and then we can we have to select the arcade conda environment which is created and we can write our games so let me show you how to do that so here's uh, visual studio code uh, open i'm going to do an open folder and I have a folder in, in the desktop that has a, a Python file and an, an image, so I open that. Okay, so it has some pre-written code here. Just uh, I'm gonna run it, and all it does is that it just create a there's a, a tank image from in the images folder, and then this is a simple program that. Um, oh, actually, sorry, I forgot to say that. Uh, so once you have this open, you have to select the arc the environment that. Uh, the environment that you just created. So if you click on on the bottom uh, of this, on the bottom left here, you click on it, then you can select the different environment. Uh, and again, if you create an arcade environment specifying the interpreter like Python 3.8 or 3.7, then it should show up here. And so the one I just created was the arcade one. So if I select that, then I uh, I can now notice the bottom. It has the arcade uh, library uh, interpreter chosen here. Then when I run it. Then, um, then this will run using that environment and the library that we just installed. So that is just a simple installation. Okay, alright, thanks for watching.